One of the most memorable insights will be about how we can empower young upcoming designers to how to design appropriately for who to have questions to think about, like who am I designing for, when will they use it? So questions that test their morals as well, because sometimes we design for context that we share no values with. A lot of people are talking about inclusive design. A lot of projects are starting up with inclusive design approach, but there are nuances and gray areas on how to go about this method. Who should be included? How should they be included? To what extent? It's a process that we all want to approach or want to use, but how to use this approach is a question that everybody has. There are multiple challenges that occur, but we need to figure out how we can settle the first challenge, which is getting people on board. When I would do my process, I will first start by identifying the relevant stakeholders from my problem. So for the project goal, who are the relevant stakeholders? And then identify their values, see if there are any tensions or conflicts and try to minimize that conflict together as a group and together start the design process. There are lots of methods that can be used, co-design, a participatory design, we can use those approaches. And I think that's like a foundation on how to start up an inclusive design approach. Well, in the next year, I will embark on a case study wherein I observe existing studies or new studies that are focused on mental health care design, so digital design for mental health care. And I will observe what is being done, if they are inclusive, if they are multidisciplinary. And based on my observation, I will transfer the knowledge into another study that I will conduct. And that will be focused on actually designing an intervention, a digital intervention for mental health care. I will first and foremost want to thank the editorial team at HEMD, so Sander and Remy, because they were the backbone of this mission. I would also like to thank Saskia Powells for her contribution, quite impressive contributions, and Greenberry, the people at Greenberry, for letting us observe their process as well. I would like to thank Madris and Aline. I would like to thank Tice and everyone at HEMD as well, and all of you viewers and readers for your inspiration and motivation to, you know, continue and finally end this mission.